Hello, Patriot Contraptions here, and today we're getting Western with a homemade cowboy holster for this 8-inch revolver. As always, before builds with a revolver, or even the replica I have here, check to make sure it's safe. It's a good habit to get in, and will prevent damage if you ever are using a real gun. Now, proceed to measure out your sections of leather. I'll be using scrap leather, so I determined that the best fit for this particular build would be a large rectangular piece I happened upon, and we'll be using this longer piece later in the vi in another video for the gun belt itself. I also got some white string which we'll be using as well. To build our holster, I opted to actually fold over this rectangular piece of leather and then use stitching instead of the two rivets you can see on this other holster. Next up, I simply marked out where I want to cut the holster from or the excess leather off of the holster. I made sure also to leave room for the stitching or quarter inch holes that I would later be drilling to bind the two sides of this holster together. And here you can see we're cutting out our cowboy holster with a sharp knife. So be careful out during this step, it is very easy to slip and mess up the holster and also your finger. And as you can see here, I finished cutting out the holster. Now I did miss a couple sections in the video about how to do the top, but it's pretty straightforward just to mold it around whatever gun you happen to be working with. And then I proceeded to use the technique in a previous video for punching holes in leather belt, but later opted to go for a drill as this was much quicker and saved me another hour's work, as I was already at five hours on this build as is. Once you have all the holes punched along the sides of the holster, you'll need to cut a cord from one of the other scrap pieces of leather and then lay it out next to the first hole in between the first and second and then wrap it up over and around through the first hole creating our first stitch of our Spanish braid then going over and under to create the second stitch your starting place should be in between these two cords then the third part is bringing the cord up over under and through the X of the previous two cords and then back down through the third hole in our holster, and so on, repeating these steps down the gun until you finally finish it with this beautiful holster we you can see here. Now I did opt to add a little bit of a flare to it by putting a drop leg belt buckle on, however the video from this didn't turn out, so if you're not interested in doing it, just simply cut two parallel slits in it and it'll strap on your belt just fine. Or you can go ahead and build the belt buckle by simply using a couple of rivets. And if you'd like, comment below and I'll make a video on it. Be sure to check out my other videos on how to paint flames and how to make a cowboy gun belt. And as always, have a fantastic day and be sure to subscribe. Patriot Contraptions, signing out.